Hello again from OGS Mechanics Workshop. Today, another interesting job that we want to share with you. A warning message on the, on the dashboard on this Mercedes GLE with the lane, lane assist uh, inoperative. Basically what it is, the camera within the windscreen is obstructed, it has an obstructed view. We have now stripped it and we just want to show you exactly what we found. And if you come around to explain a bit better the situation here, so first of all, the customer complaint is that in the last couple of months, an intermittent message, but it was quite permanent, the message related with um, lane assist uh, inoperative, this is traffic assist, and also lane assist inoperative. Now, um, inoperative, as you can see here, the message. Obviously, at this moment in time, we have the camera disconnected, but um, this is a situation we have encountered before. Uh, when we scanned the car, it was bringing up a fault related with the restricted view. Now, first of all, what we had to do, we had to remove this is the camera unit that gets fitted onto the screen. Now, here is a, a very interesting, interesting fact because a restricted view, it could also be caused by dirt on the outside. However, it was not the case in this situation. Now, when we remove the camera unit, what we've seen is, is something quite interesting, and I hope we should be able to show you uh, and be visible enough on the video. So in here, we can be seen this, there's quite a bit of dirt. It's quite a bit of dirt that you will restrict it on the center. I'm just trying to find a good angle to, to film. So we have cleaned a bit on the, on the center. Just try to. I hope it's, uh, it gives a good view. I mean, the best possible because we've got a light uh, on it. So what we suspect over time is like a bit of dust and also there's um, a heater around there that normally should keep uh, the windscreen dry. It has caused like, um, um, you know, a bit of dirt, very, very sticky to the windscreen. And of course, the length, it's, uh, it can't see through that. So I think it's gonna be something very um, small on this case. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean the lens. We're gonna clean the windscreen. Uh, we have to install the whole assembly back together and then um, very likely we have to recalibrate. We have seen that before and we thought it might be useful to show exactly what we have found in this job today and how um, we're gonna fix. So we're gonna do this um, cleaning. We're gonna install everything back and uh, we'll do a road test and we'll see how it goes. We're just making a, another video, another show to hopefully be more able to, to show the dirt behind this um, lane assist camera. So I think it's more visible. So this section we already cleaned, but this, how thick it was. See, if you rub easily with the finger, it won't come off. They really need to insist a bit. So imagine all of this was covered uh, with this uh, thick layer of, uh, uh, of dirt. We will um, start to clean shortly um, the windscreen and obviously the camera and then install everything back. This moment we have cleaned the um, windscreen. So you can be seen nice and clean. We have cleaned the camera lens. So it's all, let me see, I'm not sure if it's, if it's visible, but this also had a deposit on it. Uh, now all clear. We're gonna install the, the camera back and uh, we should be good to go uh, for a calibration. We have uh, moved now the vehicle into the ADAS um, calibration bay. As you can see, there's a way to set up the vehicle against the board. The board that should read those circles by the, by the camera. So this is the alignment procedure that has to be carried out. And if this pass, 
then we should be uh, good to go um, in a road test. Engineer is, uh, is carrying on the procedure as we speak. This procedure with the diagnostic machine does not take um, that long. Um, the setting up, however, takes a bit longer because uh, the car has to be um, parallel uh, perfectly. So the board has to be positioned perfectly in order for um, successful calibration. Camera all there. So let's, let's see how uh, the engineer is getting on. I think it's, uh, it's very close. What we're using um, for this particular job is uh, a no-tell diagnostic tool and, uh, and the rig. Yeah, so the engineer is probably very close. Okay, so this moment uh, is just the final step that we've got it. Calibration has been completed successfully, which means with the windscreen cleaned, the camera uh, recalibrated, we have to take, um, we can take the car in the road test. Another important aspect, which I wanna um, touch base on, is that whenever camera gets disconnected from the windscreen, it needs to be calibrated. And so it goes with other ADAS sensors. ADAS stands for Advanced Driver Assist System and integrates few systems, so uh, like um, Dynamic Cruise Control, Active Cruise Control, Lane Assist, Laden Puncher, 360 Camera. There are quite a variation of modules and they need calibration whenever any work is carried out on the suspension, a malfunction uh, or they get disconnected from the electric system most of the time they need calibration this was the procedure that we've carried on on this uh, Mercedes where it looked like just a simple thing a bit of um, um, dirt on the screen which was preventing the camera from reading properly uh, uh, you've seen it was quite a comprehensive job in the end to have it uh, working again now it all should be fine. We found the problem, we rectified, we complete the calibration, and this car should uh, be good to go to the road test and then to the customer. Again, a glimpse in um, our workshop here in OGS Mechanics, one stop for all your vehicle needs.